Hi everyone, it's Laura here from Whimsy is Forever and today I'm going to be showing you my travel journal for my upcoming trip to Zimbabwe that I'm leaving on later this week. So first off, you can see here that I've gone and just written my um, contact information just in case it gets lost. And as a cover page, I've gone and printed a vintage map and gone and created a title using some alphabet stickers. So as you can see, just a plain page for some journaling. Then I've gone and printed out a calendar so I can just make a quick note of where I'm going on what days and what things I need to keep an eye on. Then I've got a double spread for my flight up to Zimbabwe. So you can see there I've just gone and printed an extra copy of my um, e-ticket. I've gone and created a little pocket envelope for all my travel stubs. And then I've also just gone and printed some maps that I'm then later going to go and um, draw in exactly where I'm going and what I'm doing. Just a blank page for some journaling with a little My Big Adventure um, card. And then again, just a little bit of scrapbook paper that I've kind of put together and some stamping just as a journaling prompt. You'll also see in some corners I've gone and stamped these little um, speech bubbles or put little envelopes in, some scrapbook paper. Just little things to kind of give me a framework for my journaling as I go along. Also, um, every now and then, this is just some plain paper, but it's got this beautiful shimmer to it. I just love it. Um, this is just some little flaps with some paper that I can write in. And over here, I've just gone and printed um, a map that I found online for one of the parks we're going to be going to, just as it, because I know that we are not going to have um, internet at all while we're there. This is just then some old Zimbabwean dollars that I found that I thought would make a fun page. Again, just some space for journaling, another little envelope that I can put things in. This is just some additional travel information that I might need that I've just gone and put in there for the meantime. Just a, um, a page that I can maybe go and later put some photos in or some um, random little things that I find along my trip. I've also just got here a number a list. I'm not sure what that's going to be a list for yet, but I have got it there so long. Some more scra um, scrapbooking paper that I've gone and put in. And some bit more just blank space. This is the same vintage map that I had on my cover page, just printed larger. Another little envelope. This one's got some Project Life journaling cards that I had left over from a previous project. So I've just gone and put a few more in here so that if I want to, I can go and add some more things to these cards while I'm going along and then stick them in at a later date. Just put those back in there. Okay, just some more scrapbooking paper. I love this map paper. It is beautiful and I thought it was perfect for a travel journal. Just another piece of some, some more scrapbooking paper that I've cut up. I love having a journal that's not completely blank to start off with because I find a blank journal very intimidating. And so having these little bits and pieces in here beforehand gives me something to start off with so you don't have that um, fear of the blank page. <laughs> Um, hopefully I can get my camera to <laughs> focus again. Okay, there we go. This is just a little watercolor piece that I um, did just one evening while I was <laughs> putting this together. I felt that that would be fun. Again, just some more scrapbooking paper, a little bit of watercolor down in one corner. Um, these are also some Project Life cards that I had that were, I thought, very appropriate to do a solo travel. And yeah, that's, I love that quote. Okay, and then just some more pages for journaling or for sticking things in. And then again, my trip back home, a little envelope that I can put my um, ticket in. Just a printed copy of my travel information just for myself. Um, and I love these little airplane um, wood pieces. Then at the back of my journal here, I've also just gone in. This is some information that I found online. Um, some lists of animals that we might be able to see while we're there. Um, just so that it's at the back so I can easily refer to it. I don't know why my camera is having trouble focusing today. I don't know what's going on. Okay, and then just also a little calendar at the back. And then, of course, the little moleskin pocket at the back. So that while I'm going, if there's anything I find, I can just tuck it in there until I'm ready to stick it in. Now, of course, you need a little kit to go along with it. So this is just a makeup bag that I had lying around. That is going to be with me um, in my handbag or in my backpack as I'm going along with just some essentials. So, of course, some scissors, although I may stick these in my check-in luggage and not have them in my carry-on while I'm on the plane. Ruler, because I hate free drawing lines. Glue stick, of course. 
and then some pens this is just my favorite pen um, is a pilot g2 in the 0.7 i like the 0.5 for my bullet journal but the 0.7 i prefer for actual journaling and then just a mechanical pencil and a bronze sharpie for adding some details then in addition to the glue stick i'm also just taking some thin double-sided tape because i feel that sometimes that just makes things stick a little bit better and you can see i've got a lot of stuff in here um, i might take some of this out before i leave and um, this is just my travel washi tape collection um, as you know having the actual rolls of washi tape can take up a lot of space so if you wrap some around old gift cards it makes it a lot easier to travel with and you don't have to make a choice of which tape do you need to take with you then um, just also sometimes to help my journal lie flat some bulldog clips these are some travel themed ones that i got from typo and then i've also just taken a bunch of paper clips tied some ribbon and some beads to them just for some little fun details that I can add while I'm going along. And also just some split bins there, just in case, you never know. Then I've also got some pieces of watercolor paper that I've cut and folded that I can add to my journal. Some more envelopes. And then this is just another piece of watercolor paper that I'd gone and did a failed card that I was trying to make, but I thought I'd put it in here because maybe I can turn it into something at a later date. Then I've got yeah, these two envelopes, which are mostly full of just little pieces of paper that I can stick into my journal. This is just some blank paper. Um, and then my, one of my favorite things to keep with me is some pieces of contact paper, especially if I want to stick in some flowers or leaves or things that are, could be very delicate. Contact paper is great for just sticking them into your journal. And then just some little bits and pieces of scrapbooking paper, some Bible quotes. This one over here is just some labels that um, and labels and tags that might be nice to add once I've got some photos in. And then these little Ziploc bags are actually, I'm intending to use them to keep sand samples. I like to collect sand from different places I've gone to. And I've also just gone and put a little label tag in there in each one that I can write on to say exactly where I got it from. Then this second envelope has got some bigger pieces of paper, also just some bits of scrapbooking paper, um, all sorts of little things that you never know. It can just kind of help lift a page. Also some just some little bits there, some tags, and then this one over here is also just some more Project Life journaling cards. I particularly like these for when you want to flap bits and pieces over each other. Then over here, just some paint swatches and some safari khaki colors, and then another piece of scrapbooking paper. So as you can see, I've got quite a lot. I won't need anywhere near this for this journal. So I might um, go and scale this back a little bit, but for now, this is what I've got in my kit. Then of course, one other thing that I hadn't put in just yet because I was busy working with it is my watercolor supplies. So when traveling, I particularly like to use a water brush this is a Pentel Aquash um, brush with a fine tip. So as you can see, if you squeeze it, you can just get some water out and you can use it on the go and without the need to go and carry a, you know, a pot of water or something. And this is just a little travel watercolor palette I've made up using an old Estee Lauder makeup palette and um, with a piece of laminated paper that I've just put in the lid so that I can use it as a palette to mix colors with. And I've just gone and put in a few different colors, two reds, two yellows, two greens, two blues, an ochre and a black, just as a small little mini kit that I can take with me and that easily fits in a makeup bag. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this little preview into my travel journal. Hopefully once I come back and it's all filled in, I can show you what the final project is. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a few weeks.